uh, to give uh, his welcome and inspirational message on behalf of the PSC board. Uh, let us all welcome our National Training Director and Chief of Staff and ang ating pong Project Director for the National Sports Summit 2021, Mr. Mark Edward Velasco. Sir, magandang hapon po sa inyo. Good, af good afternoon, Joash. Magandang hapon. And I think this will be the first time I'm going to give uh, say more than the welcome. I think it's very special because it's a good friend of mine who's going to speak today. So I'm, I'm going to try my best. So first off, sports have traditionally served as a global, global unifier, race, religion, politics, social economic status, and gender are, are all thrown out the window when supporters band together to celebrate the result of a competition. As Nelson Mandela once said, and I think all some of you have heard about this, it says sport has the power to change the world. It has the power to inspire. It has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. When we talk about sport in our setting, we sometimes we always talk about grassroots, Olympics, sea games. But there's also an other, another side of the coin of sport that is equally as important as uh, what we have been discussing before, and that's the professional sports. With the world in the midst of coronavirus pandemic and people feel more isolated uh, now more than ever, with some borders closed, uh, stay-at-home mandates, sports, its athletes, personalities, executives, coaches, leagues, teams, and fans can again prove the cohesive power of more the cohesive power of more is greater than any single individual. While sport was at standstill uh, in our country, relatively there's one aspect of the sport that has begun or has started. It is the professional sports. And uh, nearly 15 months later, I think we have already witnessed that uh, in some special cases, sports can be restarted. And... Uh, at the forefront of that restart of the games was the, the GAB or the Games and Amusement Board. Despite not training or limited training in the setting, uh, this, despite not being in the field, playing in front of thousands as they normally would, uh, athletes, coaches, professionals are utilizing this break not only to focus on things including their families, businesses, investments, or even furthering their education and philanthropic efforts. But there are some of the main drivers behind the support relief and education efforts around what we are experiencing right now. So as PSC, uh, we have to learn from each other. We have to learn from our partners. There are a lot of things to discover when we are all facing this new re re reality, and it won't be easy. And, you know, we'd like to especially give thanks to our partner in the Games and Amusement Board. As uh, I would share during the time of uh, the pandemic, we have been working together, uh, together with the Department of Health to really show a semblance of normalcy in the world of sports. And then we're grateful to once again, listen to a very good friend of the commission, a very good friend of uh, Chairman Ramirez, uh, Baha Mitra, uh, for all those uh, teachers, PE, PE teachers, educators, this is a sneak peek into what a professional sport is all about. So I'd like to welcome you and enjoy this afternoon session. Maraming salamat po. Maraming maraming salamat sir, to our project director, Sir Mark Edward Velasco. Tama po yung sinabi ni Sir, no? uh, and may iba-iba pong aspect ang uh, sports uh, hindi lang po sa grassroots and elite but also itong very very special topic natin and uh, thank you sir for uh, the very very inspiring message and uh, ang session po natin ngayong hapon na to is one of the many lectures that we will be having uh, for the first phase of our summit and as said earlier ito pong sports conversations will be presided over they recognize figures from the national to the international sports scene to deliver lectures in the online conference format. And afterwards, nagkakaroon po tayo ng open forum which will be facilitated to gather insights and views as a synthesis for every session. 
Kaya po dahil dyan, ang ating pong moderator for this afternoon uh, graduated at the Technological University of the Philippines where he finished a uh, Bachelor in Graphics Technology. And after that, po, he also earned his Master's Degree in Government, man government Management at the Pamantasa ng Lungsod ng Maynila in 2016. He's a former draftsman and currently the Executive Assistant to the Chairman of the Games and Amusement Board. Uh, let us all welcome our moderator for this session, Mr. Jan Kenner So. Sir, magandang hapon po. Hey, uh, good afternoon po sa lahat. Sana po ay gising pa tayo at okay-okay pa. Uh, for today, I uh, will be your moderator. Uh, you can call me Kenner for short, so Kenner So. Uh, I'm the Executive Assistant to the Chairman. And for today, we will discuss about the professional sports in the Philippines, okay? Now, uh, we will tackle also the history of the Games and Amusements Board. Well, before kasi, bago pa po magkaroon ng GAB, iba-iba uh, po ang nag-handle ng professional sports. Most, meron po dating uh, wrestling commission and nakahiwalay pa po ang iba-ibang sports. So meron po Presidential Decree 871 in 1978. It created and included the professional basketball and other professional games na isinama na po sa isang agency which is the Games and Amusement Sport. Now, we also have, we will also discuss about the activities of GAB. Okay, so siguro po marami sa inyo ang hindi pa nakakarinig tungkol sa GAB. Wala pang balita tungkol kung meron palang agency na GAB or nagkakaroon po ng confusion sa ibang agency. Dahil nga po sa Games and Amusements Board, marami po mga pasok sa isip natin na baka yung PAGCOR or other agencies. So, we're here to discuss and uh, nandito po kami para ipaliwanag sa lahat kung ano po ang activities ng GAB. Okay? We have, uh, we have meetings with our stakeholders and we continuously improve our regulation and guidelines and we, we also update from time to time, okay? Depende po sa situation. Now, the last part of our discussion for today will be on the sports during the pandemic, okay? So, meron po tayong pinagdaan ng matindi. Ito po ay ngayon lang po talaga nangyari in history na pandemic so marami po ang huminto businesses and most especially po ang professional sports dahil alam naman po natin na pag professional sports lagi pong may contact okay so but greatly affected din po ang ating mga athletes and i-discuss din po namin kung ano ang ginawa ng games and amusements board during this time of pandemic okay now Overall discussion po natin ay tungkol sa professional sports and syempre nakipagtulungan po kami. Walang iba kundi sa PSC. Meron po kaming joint admin order na, nagsas na dinidiscuss po doon lahat kung ano ang mga pwede at hindi pwede during this time of pandemic. Now, uh, so much for the, the introduction for our topic for today. Now, I would like to introduce our speaker for today. Uh, he was the second district representative of Palawan for three consecutive terms, and he also became the provincial governor of Palawan. Now, during, in 2016, he was also appointed by President Rodrigo Duterte as the chairman of the Games and Amusements Board. Now, during this term, he leveled up professional sports in the Philippines and expanded professional sports under the Games and Amusements Board. For example, esports, napakataki po niyang esports. Iba-iba uh, pong laro ang professionalized na po ngayon. Lahat po yan ay naglilisensya sa Games and Amusements Board. 3x3 basketball, napakalaking ano rin po niyan, uh, sport na recognized na rin po internationally. And for the first time, nagkaroon po ng professional chess dito sa Pilipinas. And if we're not mistaken, pati po sa buong mundo, professional chess licensee 
ay dito rin po nang galing sa atin. Now, the volleyball was also included in under the Games and Amusements Board. And during this time of Chairman Baham, okay, uh, we work closely with our stakeholders. Okay. Uh, so without further ado, I would like to introduce to you uh, Chairman Baham Mitra. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, magandang, magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Good afternoon. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say hello to my partner, si Boss Mark, my uh, teammate in uh, Kamao, and uh, oh, our friends from uh, DepEd Bar. Magandang hapon po sa inyo. Uh, Sir Mark is uh, not just our partner in basketball, but also in the framing of the joint admin order which is uh, the uh, Bible of how sports will uh, come back during the pandemic. Thank you, Sir Mark, for your valuable uh, work and uh, assistance to all of us. Boss, <laughs> ikaw ang boss ko. Um, of course, uh, Chairman Butch uh, Ramirez, who's uh, also like a father. Good afternoon, Bacolod City, Mayong Hapon, Jerome, Sus, our Migo. Uh, gandang Hapon. Uh, um, uh, to our friends from uh, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, all the way Ilocos, uh, kita ko Manila. Um, uh, oh, June, uh, goes and better fight. <laughs> and uh, our uh, friends from uh, Merong Puerto Princesa kanina, nakita ko eh, uh, si Miss uh, Pilapil. And uh, everybody, good afternoon po. Kamusta na po kayo? And uh, we're very happy, we're very honored to be asked to speak this afternoon. And uh, it's uh, totally different from what you all are uh, doing now. And uh, it's a different perspective on uh, professional sports. So thank you, Kenner, for the kind introduction and summary. We will uh, now uh, go into the details. No, uh, Yes, uh, I used to be... I used to be a legislator, no? I used to be a legislator. I was in Congress for three terms, 2001 to 2010, member of uh, several standing committees, but chairman of the Committee on Agriculture on my last term and deputy majority leader. So basically, ano din, ma ma iba -iba din, ano? Uh, maraming uh, mga na pagdaanan na rin, no in terms of uh, policy making decision making sa congress diba? and i was also a uh, governor of the province of palawan so nandun din yung uh, executive experience and uh, implementation and uh, yes in 2016 we were tapped by president duterte to be part of uh, the national government and we are now uh, head of the Games and Amusements Board as chairman and Commissioner Ed Trinidad and Commissioner Mar Masangid, Masangid as our commissioners. So, okay, uh, just to start things off, you know, when we got appointed, it was uh, kind of funny because a lot of people were asking from us, Oy, pahingi naman ng bola. Magpadala ka naman ng mga uniforms. Oy, yung coach namin dito, may problema kami. Baka pwede niyong papalitan. And all these things, no? I said, teka, teka, teka. Uh, yung mga anak nila gusto nilang pumasok sa national team and also parang sabi ko teka 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 I just want to make it clear Philippine Sports Commission yan Philippine Sports Commission yung aming uh, big brother uh, di ba national team Olympics amateur national sports di ba uh, sports development yan talagang ano nakatuon ng Philippine Sports Commission yan so Medyo nalilito sila. Ano ba ang gab? Akala namin sports kayo. Oo nga po, sports pero professional sports. Uh, boss, baka pwede kami maglagay ng kasino. Baka hindi pwede kami humingi ng lisensya. Sabi ko, pasensya na po kayo. Pag-core po yun. Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation. Kami po ay Games and Amusements Board. Kung sila Games of Chance, kung sa kanila may pustahan, sa atin po may pagalingan. So, Games of Chance, Pagcore, Games of Skill. Yan po ay sa Games and Amusements Board and anything na professional. So, what is a definition of a professional? Ang sabi, Chairman 
Uh, I'll, I'll quote huh, from uh, Chairman uh, Ramirez. Anybody who gets paid but does not play for the flag is a professional. So lahat po ng may sweldo na hindi naglalaro para sa national team ay professional. So kami naman po sa GAB, ang mandate namin is to regulate and supervise. Maliwanag po yun ha? Regulate and supervise. Ang sports development, ang grassroots development ay nandyan po kay Sir Mark. Nandyan kay sa mga commissioners natin, nandyan kay Chairman Bush, nandyan sa PSC. So kami po nagbabantay. Sinisigurado namin maayos po yung laro na ibibigay yung premyo, uh, napapangalagaan yung uh, mga uh, atleta, di ba? And uh, na ibibigay yung premyo nga kasi minsan wala eh. At saka siyempre yung general being nila, no? So, meron kasakot din sa amin yung uh, anti-illegal gambling, yung mga taong nag... Uh, you know, those people who believe that uh, sports is... Uh, Some, something that you make money of, di ba? Parang, you know, game fixing and all, no? So, medyo dyan din kami nakatutok. It's also part of our mandate to go after these people. And we've done that. Um, well, uh, well, a long time ago, it was Boxing and Wrestling Commission and then the High Ally and then Racing Commission for Horse Racing. So, nagkaroon po ng mga EO, Presidential Decree, to create the Games and Amusements Board uh, to what it is now. Uh, Josh mentioned earlier that in the past, hindi niya daw masyadong naririnig yung Games and Amusements Board. Ngayon daw po naririnig. Eh siguro po mas maingay kami, uh, mas aktibo kami, at saka mas uh, straightforward kami. And uh, we're very happy that uh, we are given this chance to serve uh, the sports uh, community Uh, my industries of experience is uh, agriculture, tourism, natural resources, di ba? But uh, as a congressman and as governor, siyempre meron ding experience in sports. I'm very, very happy of uh, this assignment that was given to us. So, okay, next. Um, well, yung, we, we issue licenses, no? We... we meron kayong proseso na dinadaanan. Kasi, you know, going back, no, many here are from the DepEd. And uh, of course, uh, we also want to say hello to our friends in media. Um, uh, what is GAB? What does GAB do? Uh, we regulate, we supervise, we license. No? Um, there are just uh, a few um, requirements that you need, no? Um, you don't actually have to finish college to be a professional, but uh, somehow, you know, uh, uh, a, a background study will be done um, on an athlete before he is given a license. No? Uh, for example, during his uh, collegiate days, uh, he was uh, always identified with game fixing or with uh, scaffolds, suntukan, magulo, di ba? So we will be asking him that and uh, track records, very important. And of course, uh, letters from their trainers and uh, certification from their coaches. No? And uh, they will be asked to fill up an application form and uh, an oath of, uh, not allegiance, but an oath of sportsmanship, you know, being a professional. They will undergo a seminar or a, uh, some sort of uh, yeah, briefing, no? Uh, what it is to be a what, what is it how is it to be a professional and they are reminded that uh, a license is a uh, a uh, privilege not a right and it can be taken out at any time if you act as if you are let's say basagulero ka magulo ka halatang nang bebenta ka ng laban eh, you are not you are not worthy of being called a professional di ba and uh, Well, we also have a record. No, we monitor performances, activities, and we also do ratings and all. No, and uh, of course, nakalista din yung mga infractions niyo. So okay, what will you do after high school or college or your varsity sports career? See, may mga question mark eh. Okay, number one, find a sports-related job. Be a coach. Be a trainer. Be a manager. Retire from sports, get a regular job, magnegosyo. And the other one is, of course, turn professional. 
look at the Philippine uh, Premier Volleyball League. Nung bago kami, we issued a cease and desist order against them because we all know may mga sweldo yung mga yan. Eh. Nag-ooperate sila, nagsusweldo sila, nagpe-premium sila. So dapat professional sila. Nagkaroon lang sila ng ano sa amin, temporary restraining order. Pero ngayon, uh, volleyball is now uh, part of uh, the Games and Amusements Board family kasi nag-pro na sila. At that time, most of their players were still in playing in the UAAP and in the NCAA. Pero ngayon, puro graduate na sila. Kaya nga, tanongin ko kayo, what will you do after high school or college? Varsity sports career. You can either be a coach, trainer, retire, look for another job, or turn professional. So this is another notch in life. Tama si Sir Mark kanina. Eh, di ba? Uh, iba naman itong perspective na dinadala namin dito. So, uh, kumbaga, what is life after high school? What is life after college uh, sports? There is life as a professional player. And there is a government agency that supervises, that regulates, and takes care of you. And that is the Games and Amusements Board. So, dun sa inyo na may mga alaga dyan mga bata na nakikita ninyo na maaring maging professional later on. E, pakialaga lang po muna. Eventually, later on, kami rin po ang magsusubaybay sa kanila. So, Professional sports uh, under the regulation and supervision of GAB. Ano-ano bang mga sports ito? Actually, lahat ng professional. So, ito po, bagong-bago. Uh, alam yan ni Sir Mark, no? Nung, when the pandemic came in, June, June 10, 2020, last year, we were made to present in the IATF. Eh, nakikiawa kami na sana payagan naman mag-resume yung sports. Inutusan kami to sit with PSC and to sit with GAB, to uh, sit with the uh, PSC and of course the DOH to make a joint admin order. And uh, ang pinapayagan lang po doon ay national team trainings at saka professional sports. So yung ibang mga liga, eh, siguro they came to realize total nagsosweldo din lang naman tayo so magprofessional na tayo so ayan po ang mga liga under ng Games and Amusements Board of course ang uh, Philippine Basketball Association nandyan po yung National Basketball League nandyan po yung Women's National Basketball League meron na pong professional women's malapit na next month magumpisa na yan and then of course yung Vismin Super Cup yung nagka problema dun sa Cebu na naayos naman at saka ngayon po maniwala po kayo sa hindi kakasuhan po ng Games and Amusements Board yung mga membro ng Sikihor team kasi nga parang very obvious na medyo nagapatalo yata yun eh. parang game fixing eh. so abangan nyo po yan gagalaw po talaga ang gap dyan maraming allegations eh, ng game fixing pero never na kinakasuhan ngayon ito po just during the time of President Duterte Basketball, matagal nang may pro. Boxing, matagal nang may pro. Pero during the time of President Duterte, volleyball has turned professional. Football has turned professional. So kita ninyo, medyo ayos na. Itong, itong football, eh, ano naman, nag-qualify tayo, di ba? And uh, ganda ng performance, ang laki ng improvement. And uh, sa, sa maraming probinsya, uh, dito may nakikita ko sursugon uh, sa Bacolod, sa Iloilo sikat na sikat ang football eh. and then alam ko pati yung Philippine Marines kung saan sila may mga mga kampo pinupush din nila yung football so this is something na uh, uh, we should uh, all be well lahat naman ng sports no? pero ang sinasabi ko kasi sa football hindi naman kailangan kasi masyado ng height di ba? at saka likas na magaling tayo sa ano sa football so dapat ma-promote pa. So yun po, professional uh, volleyball, professional football, of course yung golf, uh, marami pong mga professional golf players nag-umpisa po bilang kadi, di ba? Uh, hindi lang ito masyadong sikat na laro sa mga probinsya kasi wala tayong mga golf courses, pero meron din pong professional golf at marami din pong 
pondo ang nakakalat diyan na nakakatulong mag-generate ng ano uh, foreign foreign uh, savings sa atin. Y- yung cycling baka hindi kayo aware pero meron pong professional cycling. Natatandaan niyo po yung Tour of Luzon noon, di ba? Eh, ngayon po, marami pa rin pong professional cycling. Lalong-lalo na ngayon, tingin ko sisikat ito lalo eh. Halos lahat ng tao nagbabike. So, eh, baka mamaya may mga super gagaling, super lalakas dyan eh. Mag-professional na rin po kayo, sumali na kayo dito sa ano mga professional leagues. So, okay. Um, kilala niyo po si Sir Amang Parika, di ba? O, oh, b- billiards. O, oh, nandiyan. At uh, matagal na rin pong professional ito. And uh, sa ngayon po, ang mandaluyong po, si Mayor Benhar Abalos, ang isa sa mga nagsusulong niya. Isa po sa pinakamalaking growth ng Games and Amusements Board ay yung licenses ng professional e-sports. Dati po, ang uso, Space Invaders. Ewan ko kung naabutan pa na nila, Sir Mark. Pero, ano po eh. Uh, iba na ngayon, merong League of Legends, di ba? Uh, o oh yan, si Sir Mark naabutan. Si, uh, Super Mario lang daw naabutan niya. So anyway, so yan lang yung mga uso-uso noon. Pero ngayon, terrible. This is the highest growth of, uh, of uh, licenses in GAB. Esports. And when you go to the different uh, conventions of uh, uh, and conferences of esports, kikita niyo very lively. Ang daming tao, ang daming sponsor, ang daming suppliers, ang daming awards, ang daming tournaments. Kaliwa, kanan, ang daming 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 tournaments. Um, we just also remind them, no? It's also part of our job. Alam ko reklamo niya ng mga teachers, maraming taga DepEd dito. Ang dami ring taga state universities. Hindi ba pinapaalala na natin sila, di ba? You know, we have to be all well-rounded, no? Um, hindi po pwedeng, hindi po pwedeng, uh, puro na lang kayo laro, di ba? We remind them to be physically fit. We remind them to spend time with their families and also have personal lives. And first and foremost is to also study. The problem sometimes is, you know, these guys earn so much money and they forget to to study. And, you know, at 24, 25 years old, you're already asked to retire. Eh, paano yun? Hindi ka na nakapag-aral, di ba? Wala ka ng pamilya. So, uh, we're, we're, always, we're always here reminding them that they should all be well-rounded uh, individuals and, of course, sports aficionados. So, okay. Medyo marami, ano? Pati motocross. Nako. Uh, oh, see? Oh, especially in high school daw. Sabi ni Sir Jerome, high school, kailangan talaga. Uh, well, yan, may sinasabi, meron daw mga game fixing kasi walang nagbabantay. Eh, ngayon po, nandito na kami, binabantayan na namin, lalo na yung uh, esports na na-mention. Siguro in the past, baka merong game fixing. Pero ngayon na alam nilang nagbabantay kami, eh, hindi naman natin siguro masasabing mawala. Pero baka naman po nabawasan. Thank you for your comments. Ah. We appreciate the comments that are typed and uh, we go over them. No? So, motocross, tandaan nyo dati, Butch Chase, Tai Tai Kid, di ba? Uh, merong magaling na nagmumotor din dyan na taga, ano yung Baisiha? <laughs> uh, Mitra din ang apelido, na mag-anak din. So, that's also professional. And uh, ito po yung sinasabi ni Senator Pia kay Tano, no? Hindi lang po, uh, hindi lang po, hindi lang po bas- boxing lahat, ano? Meron din pong professional triathlon. You know, um, we have athletes from all over the world coming to to Cebu, to Kamsur, to Palawan, to Ilocos for uh, uh, joining the professional uh, triathlon. So this is uh, something that's also very, very different. No? Tatlo-tatlo eh. Lalangoy ka ng malayo. Magbabike ka. Tapos tatakbo ka. So it's also very dangerous and... Uh, we make sure that uh, the athletes are uh, safe and that uh, they're qualified. No? So, alam mo, very innovative ang Pilipino. Dito lang yata sa buong mundo ang merong three-point shootout na professional. Bakit professional? Kasi may sweldo eh. Uh, MSU, Mindanao State University. Hello, hello. Hi. 
Uh, merong three-point shootout na professional na uh, three points. Kung gusto niyo mag-inquire, eh, ayan ang King, Kings of Threes ang pangalan. So, um, may, ito po, uh, bago lang po ito, ang problema na hinto nung, uh, ano eh, nung pandemic. Eh. Although okay naman ito dahil open air, pero nag-professional sila kasi malaki na yung premium nila. Eh. And uh, we want to make sure that, uh, you know, be, being a professional, believe it or not, gives you some sort of uh, parang na-upgrade yung liga mo. Parang parang lalong sumisikat, lalong nakaka-attract ng sponsors, lalong nakaka-attract ng mga followers. Once you say that you are a league, ano ba liga yan? Di ba? Parang hindi masyadong kilala. Pero pag sinabi mo, you are a league supervised by the Games and Amusements Board and you are a professional league, then kahit pa paano, sponsors will come in at saka yung alam naman natin yan, eh, di ba? Pagka merong question sa integrity ng sport, eh, mawawala na ng interest yung tao. At saka at least, pagka nandyan ang gab, sigurado kayo na may mga nagbabantay na safe yan. At saka, if not none, very minimized ng todo-todo yung game fixing. Uh, we're very happy that, uh, you know, chess um, is as to professional. Um, marami po ang nangyari sa panahon ni President Duterte hindi lang football, volleyball, pati po chess nag-professional na, pati jet ski and pati yung triathlon and um, tama lang naman siguro kasi ang dami rin Pilipinong mahilig sa chess and uh, hindi lang po ito ngayon pangalawang tournament na po ito nila pangalawang conference na Wesley So Cup ang tawag nila so nandyan po si Attorney Paul Ilaria uh, kasama ko din po dyan si Commissioner Masanggit at si Commissioner Eds at saka si Attorney Benitez. Uh, yan po ay ano, uh, oo nga, yung jet ski nga, kung kailan pa sa panahon ng pandemic, saka pa wala. Hindi, ano daw kasi sir, uh, wala na po nagpapaliga muna. So, pwede naman, basta bumalik sila at uh, ano, pwede naman. Ang problema nga kasi ngayon, medyo iwas nga lahat ng tao sa labas. Eh. Kaya iwas ng iwas sa mga tournament. Kaya wala po siguro ng jet ski. Anyway, so professional chess is uh, being played virtually. It has, uh, I think, 32 teams from all over. Meron ako nakita ng taga Talisay. Uh, DepEd Talisay. Meron po kayong team din sa Talisay. Meron din, of course, Talisay team sa ano sa Bismin Cup. Hello to Mayor Sam Sam. Hey, kamusta na lang dyan? Uh, well, ito, traditionally and uh, ever since talagang yung professional boxing has uh, been uh, with the Games and Amusements Board. And uh, of course, mixed martial arts, medyo mas uso sa mga kabataan, mas napupuno ang MOA pagka merong MMA doon. Eh, no? And uh, very exciting. So ta tayo naman, um, yes, uh, there have been some accidents in the past, but uh, Matagal na po yan. It's been eight years, nine years na since nagkaroon ng aksidente. And ngayon po, proper na po yung rest period, yung matching and all. And uh, we have uh, fighters that are now champions. No? Of course, Senator Manny Pacquiao, Nonito Donaire, uh, John Rel Casimero, uh, all world champions. Is, uh, Pet, nani, uh, Rene Cuarto, uh, IBF, tapos si Jerwin Angka. So we have six, seven world champions. So we're very happy na Uh, mahal din kasi ni Presidente ang mga boksingero and uh, mga athletes natin. So yung mixed martial arts, marami din. So, yung, 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 uh, yung Muay Thai, nagkaroon po ng professional Muay Thai uh, dito sa Pilipinas. And uh, of course, uh, ito, laro ito sa Thailand, pero it's being played by uh, everybody in the whole world. So hindi rin tayo nagpapahuli. Pati na rin yung kickboxing. So nagkaroon po dito ng kickboxing. And uh, kasama, kasama din po yan sa Games and Amusements Board. As you can see, apat po yung ano dyan, apat yung, hindi lang tatlo, kung hindi apat yung ano, yung, yung ano nila. Uh, pati international derbies, uh, sakop na rin po ng Games and Amusements Board. Pero sa ngayon po, wala po muna ng international derbies kasi uh, hindi po pina, well, darating yung mga foreigners pero magka-quarantine ng matagal. So, medyo mahirapan, mahirapan na sumali muna. And uh, wala muna ang international derbies kasi nga wala muna ang social o yung, uh, yung gatherings na maraming tao. Um, merong ano, meron ding, hinati po yan noon eh. 
yung horse racing at saka yung uh, yung supervision ng betting ng horse racing saka yung mismong horse racing ay nasa Philippine Racing Commission at yung betting supervision na sa GAP. Nandiyan po sila, Ma'am Marisa. Um, ito po yung isa sa medyo hindi pa masyadong alam ng marami pero meron po kaming ano uh, meron po kaming hawak na Administrative Order 262. Yan po yung nagki-create ng Anti-Illegal Gambling Unit. Meron po kami, ang head po niya ay si General Kibuyan dati po from the NCRPO and uh, he is now uh, doing uh, investigation on uh, what happened sa Bismin Cup no and of course uh, hinahabol din yung mga bookies ng karera and uh, yung mga game fixing so marami pa pong iba and uh, uh, sige na next masaya po kami sa gab marami pong activities we're very happy that uh, it is only during the time of president Duterte where free medical examinations are given by the department of health okay Graduate ka na. Galing ka ng MSU. Ha? Galing ka ng Leyte. Galing ka ng Ilocos. Graduate ka na. Gusto mo mag-pro. Eh, ang problema, wala kang pera. Diba? Kailangan magpa-medical ka. So, dapat, pagka nagpa-medical ka, may bayad. Diba? Eh, ang feeling namin, maraming walang pera and uh, nahihirapan mag-pro. Kaya nga po lumapit kami sa Department of Health para magbigay ng chance na ma ma malibre, 'di ba? Malibre yung yung medicals nila at uh, magkaroon ng pagkakataon na magprofessional na wala na silang gastos. Ang nangyari kasi minsan nababaon sa utang eh, 'di ba? And uh, pasalamat po kami sa Department of Health, uh, secretary uh, nanjan ang secretary natin and yung former secretary who also signed it. We're very happy that uh, for the first time in the history of the Republic of the Philippines and the Games and Amusements Board, the GAB was named Boxing Commission of the Year by the World Boxing Council. A very prestigious uh, award that uh, we will cherish all our lives and uh, probably one of the legacies that uh, we are going to leave behind. Hindi po madali ito, mahirap ito. And uh, we're very happy that uh, this award was uh, given to the Games and Amusements Board and the Republic of the Philippines. Tayo lang po ang merong free medical. Sila wala. Kahit mayaman sila, sila wala. So, well, once upon a time, a few years ago, we had a three-in-one convention. You know, yung Muay Thai convention, yung uh, women's convention, at saka yung WBC Asian Summit. No? So, tatlo-tatlo yan. Uh, lahat ng world champions ng WBC nagdating ang lahat sa Pilipinas to sa babae no in the uh, Asian and it, it was also the chance for us to recognize our boxing greats no nandiyan nakita niyo naman di ba Donnie Nietes nandiyan sa kaliwa sa kabila nandiyan si Rolando Navarrete so na recognize sila na bigyan ng konti para na lang ba recognition So, yan po yung mga iba-ibang mga activities. Libre din po yung dental. Medyo delikado eh. Diba? Kailangan yung mga athletes maayos ang, ang ipin. Otherwise, baka magkaroon ng complications sa sinus and all. So, salamat sa mga good dentista rin that uh, came forward. Wala kaming pondo para dyan, pero nagkaroon po ng joint venture eh. Nagkaroon ng joint venture. Meron po kaming mga linkages sa uh, ibang mga bansa and uh, nagkaroon po kami ng chance na pumunta sa Japan para magpirmahan ng dokumento na hindi dapat lumaban ng isang hapon sa Pilipinas na hindi namin alam para mabantayan namin. Ganon din po ang uh, sa uh, sa Thailand and sa China. Yung sa Thailand, ganon din po. And yung sa China naman, parang exchange. No? Yung ibang coaches natin, pinadadala doon. Sila dito, fighters, parang cooperation lang talaga. Uh, so ito po si Mr. Arizala. Yan po yung isang Pilipino na boksingero na nadisgrasya sa Japan. Binigyan po siya ng 2 million Japanese. Basta 1 million pesos po ang natanggap niya. Siya po pagtapos siya nagboxing doon, medyo nahilo ba? Tsaka naoperahan. Pero hindi po siya pinabayaan ng Japan Boxing Commission at nabigyan po ng 1 million pesos. Okay. Um, Katulad po ng professional summit uh, ng ng sports summit na to, nagkaroon din po kami ng first Philippine professional sports summit. Pero ito po noon hindi pa bawal yung social gatherings at uh, 
Salamat sa PSC sa support ninyo and uh, yung iba-ibang mga professional teams, professional athletes, nagpuntahan, yung mga sila Phil Young Husband, nagpunta, sila James. Of course, yung mga PBA players, nagpuntahan. Nandun din sila Eugene Torre, nandun din sila Amang Parika. Ay, nako, ang saya-saya, ang dami. Parang, ano, parang reunion ng mga ano. And of course, Senator Bongo, Senator Sani Angara, ang mga nandun. Of course, sila Congressman Nograles and mga kaibigan natin na nagpuntahan. Isang masayang gathering ng professional sports. Uh, sharing of ideas, um, uh, sharing of uh, their experiences, and of course, sharing of knowledge and tulungan din po. So what did we do uh, in uh, times of the pandemic? We did not just sit down. We went out. Ang sabi nga ni Mr. Kinito Henson, we became relevant. Di ba? Eh, ang sinasabi, ay nako, stay at home lang muna. Wala na muna ng sports. Hindi kami pumayag kasi hanap buhay ito eh. Unlike uh, in the NCAA, in the UAAP, yung Strasux, yung palarong pambansa, eh ito po kasi hanap buhay po ito ng mga boksingero, mga basketball player and all. So kami po ay uh, gumawa ng mga Uh, sa tulong po ng uh, DOH, ng PSC, nagkaroon po ng joint admin order. Temperature check, sanitize, face cover. Yan po yung mga unang mga uh, nilalabas. No? And nakiusap tayo sa IATF na pagbigyan tayo. And uh, nagkaroon po kami ng second uh, sports summit pero virtual na lang. Diba? Parang ganito din. Eh. Eh, hindi tayo pwede magkita-kita lahat. Eh. Pwede naman palang virtual. Di virtual na lang muna. Um, every Wednesday, meron po kaming kamustahan. We want to um, we want to be in touch with uh, our uh, stakeholders. Nakakausap po namin yung mga buksingero, yung mga uh, managers ng buksingero, mga ring officials, yung of course yung mga chess players, yung mga managers nila. Um, hindi lang po sa kamay nila anya na Luzon besides Mindanao yan. And we have GAB has offices in Cagayan de Oro. Tabao, Sambuanga, Cebu, and of course, Bacolod. No? So we're also in touch with our stakeholders because of that amustahan. And uh, it's a continuous uh, uh, dialogue with the uh, people from volleyball, from football, billiards, pati horse racing nga eh. And uh, tuloy-tuloy lang po ang pakikipag-usap namin sa kanila through online meetings. We're very happy that Senator Bongo, together with the DSWD, help our boxers. Walang laban eh. Walang makain. So hindi rin masakop dun sa dun sa ano nga yung programa nila, SAP, di ba? Social Amelioration Program. Kasi nga, professional fighters sila eh. So nabigyan po ng DSWD at ni Senator Bongo, mga boksingero. Kami po ay hindi lang humihinto. We do not just stop. no? We do not just stay in our offices. We go with the inspection teams to visit the uh, fields like that, no? yung Makati Pitch, yung uh, Inspire uh, sa Laguna, yung uh, gym ni Sir Jerry Peñalosa. So umiikot din kami. Nagpunta rin po kami sa ano, sa Splendido. Ininspeksyon namin. Ano to po? Uh, ano to? Parang surprise inspection. So para malaman namin kung talagang tuloy-tuloy yung training nila at sumusunod sila sa protocols namin. Ngayon, yung ito po, signal team sa baba, sa kaliwa naman, yung naka-blue, yan po yung Valley Pure na team ng volleyball na pinuntahan po yan, nilisensyahan at uh, chinek up din. So, we don't just stay in our offices, we also go up. Um, uh, just like what Sir Mark Velasco said earlier, uh, PSC, GAB, our partners working with the Department of Health for the joint admin order, for the resumption of sports. Ngayon po, we did not just stop on stop sa ganyan. Eh, meron po ang mental jaw na ginagawa. And uh, tulungan po, tulungan. Tulungan. Minsan, uh, yung valuable inputs ng PSC sa problema ng professional na gagamit namin. Eh. At sila, kahit pa paano pa, minsan-minsan nakakatulong din lang kami. So, of course, DOH pa rin yung safety. No? And, uh, gusto lang namin ipaalala sa inyong lahat, no? uh, hindi po GAB, hindi po PSC ang gumawa ng mga polisiya ng IATF. Kami po nagpo-propose, kami kinukonsulta, 
Pero kami lang po ang nag-i-implement ng mga utos na sinasabi ng IAPF. Kasi minsan nagagalit eh. Bakit masyadong stricto yung PSC? Bakit ba ang stricto ng GAB? Pasensya na po kayo. Kami lang po ang taga-implement. Taga Utusan lang po kami. Kami lang po ang taga-implement. Nandito po kami for uh, some questions. And uh, uh, wala, bong, wala bong taga PSC sa, sa IATF. Uh, mamaya po, baka pwede nilang sagutin yan. So, okay. Thank you very much sa ating thank pong... Thank you. Maraming maraming salamat po to our guest speaker uh, talking about professional sports in the Philippines, ating uh, Caves and Amusement Board Chairman, Baham Mitra. And uh, I'll turn it over again to our moderator, uh, Sir Ken Erso, para po sa ating synthesis of our lecture. Go, sir. Uh, maraming salamat po, Chairman Baham, sa napakalinaw na discussion para po sa ating mga nakikinig ngayon. At Sana po marami tayong natutunan, lalo-lalo na po unang-una ang pagkakaiba ng PSC, ng PADCOR at ng GAB. So sana po wala na pong nalilito ngayon dito ah, kung ano pong pinagkaiba. At uh, diniscuss rin po ni Chairman ang mandate ng Games and Amusement Sport to regulate and supervise professional sports in the Philippines. And meron din po kaming anti-illegal gambling unit na nagbabantay po ng game fixing. Okay? Uh, na-discuss na din po namin na ang history po ng GAB. So sana po naintindihan po natin lahat. And of course, kung saan po ba ang pupuntahan natin after ng ating varsity life. So ang ating career ng sports sa uh, school. So ano po ba ang pwede natin gawin? So pwedeng yung iba ay nagre-retire na lang, nag-business and naghahanap ng ibang trabaho. na hindi related sa sports. And others, uh, naghahanap ng sports-related job, so pwedeng maging coach, okay? pwedeng maging assistant coach, pwedeng maging trainer. So, ang isang option na, well, sabihin na natin na malaki ang kikitain talaga is turn professional. So, diniscuss din po namin ni Chairman Baham, lalong-lalo na po ang mga professional sports under GAB, ang mga pumasok po na bagong liga na NBL, so PBA, matagal na po ito. Yung National Basketball League, tsaka WNBL, na first time po magkakaroon ng Women's Basketball League na professional. Then yung Vismin Super Cup, na alam po natin na medyo nagkaroon ng issue last time and under investigation and pwede pong makasuhan. So meron na pong pending na, na ginagawang case ang GAB regarding dun sa... Alam niyo na yung nagka-problema at medyo halata na binenta ang laro. Then, pumasok din po within ngayon pong times ng pandemic, nag-professional na rin po ang volleyball. And ito po yung Premier Volleyball League. So, malapit na rin po sila mag-start. Then, under din po ng GAB, eh, yung professional football, which started noong 2017 lang po. So, matagal na pong merong football dito sa Pilipinas. Pero during the time of President Duterte lang, nagkaroon ng professional. So sama rin po sa, sa under ng GAB ay yung professional golf, cycling, billiards, and of course yung bagong-bago po na esports na patok sa kapataan ngayon. Marami po ang naglalaro ng Mobile Legends, ng League of Legends, ng Tekken, and marami pa pong esports, Dota, na malaki po. ang market as discussed po by Chairman Baham na napakarami po talaga ng audience and lalo na po ngayon COVID. So patok pa rin po ang esports dahil online naman po nabubroadcast ang kanilang mga laro. So we also have professional motocross, triathlon and three point shootout, very unique na sport. Then we also have professional jet ski. Unfortunately, medyo natigil siya ngayon and under GAB Nandiyan din po ang boxing, MMA, professional Muay Thai, and kickboxing. So sana po natatandaan natin, medyo marami-rami na po ito. And syempre po ang GAB, under din po namin ang cockfighting, na international derby, and um, horse racing na supervision. So okay, kasama rin po sa, na diniscuss ni Chairman Baham, eh yung background check po ng ating mga nag-a-apply na 
professional athlete. So inaalam po kung meron bang history ng ng mga palaaway na player, yung mga ganun pong instances na lagi po namin nire-remind na license is a privilege and not a right. Okay, uh, nung time din po ng pandemic, ang gab din po kasama ang PSC ang nakiusap po sa sa IATF para payagan po ang ating mga professional sports na magbalik sa kanilang hanap buhay dahil ang ang professional sports po kasi ay yun po ang kanilang kabuhayan talaga so kung wala pong laro no play no pay din po sila so yun po malaking tulong din po ang ang PSC na pinayagan din po ng DOH at ang ng IATF na mag-resume na po ang professional sports under this joint admin order na ngayon po ay meron na rin pong uh, supplemental jaw na detail na po lahat ng mga bawal at mga hindi bawal during this time of pandemic. So, didiscuss din po ni Chairman Baham ang mga activities ng Games and Amusements Board, uh, WBC Commission of the Year, and meron pong mga Asian Summit, Uh, women's na champion na pumunta dito sa Pilipinas. We also have international leakages. And syempre, meron din po kami professional summit and virtual summit na itong last year lang po. So, meron din po yung tulong na ibinigay si DSWD with, through Senator Bongo. At uh, na-discuss na rin po ni Chairman Baham na kami po sa GAB ay hindi lang po nakastay sa aming mga opisina kundi kami po ay nagpupunta rin sa mga iba-ibang lugar for inspection kung tama po at nasusunod ang protocols ng ating mga liga at mga nagpa-practice. So, bali, yun lang po. At sana po ay marami pa kayong natutunan sa aming naging discussion ngayon and we're open for questions. Uh, I'll turn over the, the floor to Sir Josh. All right, maraming maraming salamat po again uh, to uh, the very uh, concise po no na uh, synthesis of our lecture and then syempre ang ating guest speaker for this lecture, Chair Bahamitra. Uh, totoo po no yung overall this uh, overall discussion po ay really focused on our own professional sports. And syempre ko ano yung difference of the amateur to the professional, syempre and uh, the advantages and disadvantages and how po no kayo na mga listeners natin, mga participants natin could uh Uh, gain some uh, information and insights on how GAB works and, and kung paano po nag-revolve ang professional sports sa ating bansa. That being said, pahabang ginagawa natin lang lahat ng yun, uh, I believe uh, si Sir Kenan I will, will share us a video, a very very short video. Uh, ito, I think surprise ata ito, eh, no? Sir Kenan, uh, surprise video uh, na inyo pong ipepresent uh, habang tayo ay uh, nag-fill out ng forms and are sending our questions. Go ahead, Sir. Volume, Ken. Volume. Hey, everyone. This is Commissioner Edward Trinidad of the Games and Amusements Board. I would like to extend my congratulations to the Philippine Sports Commission for this momentous event. By creating equitable opportunities for participation in sports by all sectors and supporting the specially talented athletes for high-level competitions, the Philippine Sports Commission serves as the prime catalyst and advocate for the propagation and development of Philippine sports. We hope that through this, a united sports program, there would be an increase in both the participation and excellence in sports by the Filipino youth that would eventually lead us to our first ever gold in the upcoming Olympics. Rest assured that your professional sports counterpart, the Games and Amusements Board, is more than willing to extend our support in the greatest extent possible. Thank you and good day. Hi, I am from Playbook Esports and my name is AK. I just want to say congratulations to PSC on their National Sports Summit 2021. 
Cuarto IBF Minimum Weight World Champion. Congratulations to PC Summit. Salamat sa pagsuporta and service sa atletang Pilipino. God bless and more power. Congratulations to PSC on their National Sports Summit 2021. <laughs> Yo, Padrala Street Time World Champion, uh, congratulations, uh, Summit PSC. Yo, congratulations sa inyo dyan. Uh, ingat kayo lagi dyan. God bless. Yo, nakakatuwa naman yun. Thank you po, uh, Chair Baham. Uh, thank you po, Games and Amusement Board. Na nakita ko yung mga sports heroes ko. <laughs> nakita ko yung mga uh, pinapanood ko lang sa TV. no. And I believe yung mga kasama po natin dito, na mga sports fans as well, ay natuwa doon. I, I saw yung mga boxing champs natin and yung mga rising stars from our different sports. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po. That being said, uh, I think uh, nakapag... Uh, kapag fill out na po ang ating mga participants ng kanika nilang mga forms and uh, we will now take this time uh, to open our open forum again uh, we will entertain a few live questions if you want to ask live no tatawagin po kayo ng ating moderator uh, please use the raise hand button dito po sa ating uh, uh, Zoom platform and uh, our moderator will call you and uh, you can also send in your questions at babasahin po namin yan to any of our facilitator one And to meron po ba tayong live question for uh, today? Yes, we're ano, uh, we just want to say hello to some of our friends no from uh, from the gab no. Nandiyan si Dr. Viernes, nandiyan si Ma'am Jackie. Uh, sila Oliver, sila Coach Ariel, sila Ma'am Debbie. And uh eh, eh, marami tayong mga kasama dito. Siyempre si Dr. Viernes nandiyan yan. Um Uh, we also want to say hello to yung mga media na, na, na nandito ngayon. Pati na rin, siyempre, yung mga educators natin nandiyan. Pati sa Mindanao, no? UP Mindanao. Everybody, maganda-magandang hapon. Mabuti nakikinig kayo. Meron ako nakita ng isang tanong. Ano? Um, Ken uh, Professionals... Ay, ano yun? Ano sabi? Ano, nakalagay doon Ken eh. Uh, doon sa chat box. Ken mm -hmm. Professionals play in the Olympics? Yes. Um, merong mga boksingero tayo ngayon na sasali sa Olympics. And uh, as you know, yung uh, mga PBA player players natin uh, or can pro athletes compete in amateur? I don't think so. Uh, anyway, teka, sandali. Isa-isahin natin muna. Um, yung... May naka-race hand, sir. Si Oo oh, nga, sandali. Perfect drive. Yung, yung sa ano, yung sa basketball. Basta't magpaalam lang sila sa GAB, pinapayagan naman natin lahat. For example, in the past, yung mga PBA players, di ba, naglaro sa national team, pumunta sa China, pinayagan naman natin lahat yun. And uh, sa ngayon, yung naglalaro sa Gilas, uh, meron na yata dalawa o tatlong P Well, hindi pa nag-uumpisa yung PBA season, pero uh, as you know, there, oh, si, si yung buksingero, si Marshall, di ba, nag-pro na rin yan. Pero lumalaban din uh, at saka sasali din sa Olympics. Ang konting problema lang sa ngayon, talagang professionals lang po ang maaaring makalaro. Kasi yun ang sabi ng IATF. Kung hindi ka national team, kailangan professional. Otherwise, hindi po pwede. Kwento ko lang po sa inyo. No? Maraming taga DepEd dito. Nung pinayagan kami sa IATF, ako po ay pinagalitan ni Secretary... Uh, Briones. Sabi niya, oy, ano ba kayo? Masyado kayong mabibilis. Hindi pa nga pinapayagang pumasok yung mga bata, ay palalaruin nyo na. Sabi ko, Madam Secretary, I beg your understanding. Um, most of our professional players are not in school anymore and that they do this as a job. It is their profession. And uh, hindi po ito sa school. Sana po payagan nyo na rin. Sabi niya, oh, sige, sige. Basta wala munang palarong pambansa, wala munang mga bata dyan. 
Eh, hindi gano'n na nga. To be a professional, you have to be 18 and above. So, okay. Perfect. Hey. Ano yun? Tataas ng kamay. Hey, Sir Andeng Flores, Perfect Drive PH. Ah, Sir Baham, this is uh, Andeng Flores, ano? friend of Oliver Gunn. Yeah, hello. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, na-interview na kita once before, ano? Yes, uh, yes. Nabalitan ko kasi na i-resume yung uh, professional ladies golf natin, ano? Uh, pero wala kasi masyadong details pa. Uh, will it be in a bubble just like what they did last, last time? Uh, I'm actually looking for the permit that uh, we have issued, no? Uh, we... We we will do the inspection. Um, uh, LPG T two twenty twenty one ICTSI Sherwood Ladies Challenge. So yes, sir. Uh -huh. that's a uh, permit uh, has uh, been issued by the board to Mam uh, June Jui. Castillo, Philippines Golf Tournaments Incorporated to hold a tournament. No? Um, sa ngayon po, we have inspected the area and as I know, hindi pa yata nadidesisyonan kung talagang nasa bubble o hindi. Um, as you know, uh, marami namang ibang uh, nasa sports din dito. Ano? Yung golf kasi isang araw lang yan. Eh. Maximum dalawang araw. So unlike kung basketball yan, tiyan mo yung PBA they held up in Clark. So we will ano, we'll update you, sir. Uh, andito yata si Dr. Viernes, eh. Doc B, Jackie, ano ba yung plano dun sa golf? Uh, Hi, As per Hi, the submitted, submitted protocol po, uh, they're gonna conduct the closed environment or semi-bubble po. So venue will be in yung sa Sherwood Ladies Challenge sa Cavite, 13 Martires. So it's under GCQ with heightened restrictions. So as mentioned nga po by Chairman, for inspection pa po. And, uh, so in, uh, LP, yes sir. Oh, okay. uh, so hindi pa, hindi pa finalized yung, yung setup nila? Um, I think uh, Dr. Viernes can give an additional input since may ano po, uh, in two months, may meeting po last week. Uh, health and safety protocols na sila. Ang tinatanong kasi, ang tinatanong Jax kung ano daw, kung, kung nakababble sila or hindi. Ang sabi mo, semi-bubble. Eh. Yes, sir. Home, home venue, home. Ayun. So they, so, so they will stay in, in, in one hotel. Tama. Will they stay in one hotel or one place? Yung sa will they be in a will they be in a uh, stay they will stay in one hotel? Yes sir, just like po yung ano po, yung last yung na uh, oh, po, yung na na tournament, same setup. So one hotel lang. Okay, thank you. Hey, uh, we have a question po dito sir, uh, from PSC Cebu Raymond C. Lyon. So question po, sir, good day. How how do you address the registration fee of all professional games? Because as we observe, many organizers have different ways on up to their registration fees. As Games and Amusements Board, do you have a specific category or a category to limit the fees on this all matter of games? Well, when, when, uh, when a league or a group applies for a game permit, uh, all of these are um, studied and uh, kept in the Games and Amusements Board. We, we, we always um, respect the rules of the different leagues. No? And uh, if uh, in case somebody will complain, then that is the time that uh, we will act. No? Uh, of course, uh, sometimes we act on our own. No? But... Uh, Minsan kasi, you know, you have to have, ano, parang may rules na yan sila eh. Um, and uh, dun sa sinasabi mo na tournament fees, minsan kasi dun din kinukuha yung premyo. So sa ngayon, uh, we, we assume that they have uh, 
semblance of uh, regularity as always. But if there's a complaint, that's the time that we act and look into it. We will, uh, thank you for your comments. Can are you take that into consideration when an esports league is asking for permits to find out the tournament fees? Uh, may I follow up question po dun, sir. Uh, aren't there any guidelines set by both GAB and PSC when it comes to their participation, most especially on injuries, disability, or death? Nandiyan ba si Dr. Viernes? Sa, sa uh, ano naman eh, we, 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 may, we, we find, find ways on how these athletes are yeah, we, we give them enough time to train before the league starts. We ask for their medical certificate, certified by their doctors, diba? Uh, we, they do not really undergo medical tests in the gap. But uh, if there is a medical practitioner in their area, for example, yung sa Mindanao, diba? Yung sa Visayas, ala ka naman pupunta pa si Dr. Biernes doon. So, basta meron lang doktor doon, uh, Siyempre, license ng PRC yan, eh, granted na kagad yun. Ayaw naman natin pahirapan yung mga, yung mga atleta at marami masyadong requirements. And sir, di ba meron din po tayong mga gym inspection, sinecheck din kung ito training talaga yung mga ano, athlete. So, That's right. Meron surprise. din. Yung, let's say may nakamatch na, bila na lang pupunta doon sa gym, yung isang tagagab, oh, hindi ka pala nag or may labang ka. Mga ganon. Just to make sure that they're physically fit and, uh, siempre, ano, uh, fit to fight. Then. Okay, po. Uh, another question from PBF Reynaldo M. Reyes. So, good afternoon, po, Chairman Baham. Uh, meron po siyang dalawang questions. Are professional athletes covered by Gov? Are professional athletes covered by personal insurance? Well, wala po, wala po, wala po ng pondo ang Gov sa ganyan. Napakalait po ng ahensya namin, 120 million. Halos 100 million sweldo na po yung natira MOOE. Wala po kaming pondo galing sa national government for insurance. Uh, we are pushing that they get their own self-insurance sa SSS on when they travel abroad, may insurance sila. Pero habang nandito sa Pilipinas, medyo mahirap din ang buhay. Nakakaawa din yung mga buksingero. Wala na ang pera. Impusan mo pa ng insurance. So, uh, Meron po kaming proposal sa Kongreso at saka sa DPM para pondohan eh magkaroon po ng pondo para sa insurance, pension, retirement. Eh pero taon-taon na lang po kami lumalapit sa kanila, hindi naman po kami napapagbigyan. Eh tingnan natin kung anong uh, mangyayari. So another question na po sir, uh, how do GAB or do GAB have programs for retired pro professional athletes? Wala, as mentioned earlier, wala po kaming pondo para dyan. A ano lang po kami, regulatory. Di ba? Parang, kumbaga parang DNR Kami po ang tagapangalaga ng mga atleta. Sila, tagapangalaga ng kalikasan. Di ba? Eh, medyo hirap po kami mag-impose sa mga atleta natin na kumuha kayo ng insurance, magtabi kayo ng pondo para sa retirement nyo. Eh, medyo hirap po ang buhay. So, pasensya na po kayo at uh, we are straightforward. We're telling you the truth. And uh, if you examine our budget, eh, talagang wala po kaming pondo para dyan. 120 million lang po yung budget namin. And uh, mas maliit pa po yung budget namin kaysa sa mga budget ng mga munisipyo sa mga probinsya. Eh, yung ibang syudad, billion-billion ng pondo eh. Kami, maliit lang. Pero marami kaming trabaho at marami rin kami nagagawa. Ito po sir, uh, anonymous, ayaw magpamention ng name. Nag-offer po ba kayo ng webinar for graduating varsity student athletes to guide them for their future plan? From... Oh, thank, thank you very much. We will do that. Um, like in all Ready? our uh, open forums, we always take down notes and listen to valuable suggestions. Thank you. We will do that. Uh, we schedule that the soonest possible time. Jackie, take charge ka na dyan kasi ano eh, kaya-kaya mo na yan. Uh, we, we also need to guide them eh, di ba? Kasi if they want to turn professional, saan sila pupunta? Di ba? Ano bang gastos? 
Um, wag din pala po kayo matatakot dahil lang gab, we are not a revenue generating agency. Maliit lang po yung fees ng uh, license fees ng gab. Eh ano lang kami, parang compliance lang just to cover regulatory functions natin. Ayun naman natin na puro na lang gastos yung gobyerno sa atin. So um like like at this moment, no? Uh, you know, I, I really like that question. Bakit ka pa nagpa-anonymous? Eh? Sana babatiin ka namin. Mara, maraming problemado. Maraming problemado. Ha? Kasi nga, gusto nila maglaro. Hindi sila makalaro. Wala namang istrasok ngayon. Wala namang palarong pambansa ngayon. Gusto na nila mag-pro. Diba? Eh, anong gagawin nila? So nandito po kami. We will conduct a seminar on how to become how to apply as a professional we will guide you along the way we will uh, next wednesday po kamustahan sa gab will be about that all right sir chair uh, sir kenner and sir baham sisingit po ako no dahil may mga questions din po that are i think maganda pong tanungin uh, may nagtanong po chair uh, in one in one po no nung uh, competitions po ni uh, ating sports legends Efren Batteries po or exhibition ata sa Laguna po uh, nagkaroon po ata ng uh, incident na po siya po ay dinumog ng mga tao uh, nag-release po ng uh, statement yung gab on on it uh, kamusta po kamusta naman po yun sir alam niyo tayo hindi tayo nag we do not crucify them right away di ba we ask for their Uh, side, di ba? Ang sabi niya, siya daw po ay inimbita. Ang sabi, konti lang daw ang tao doon. Ang problema, nung nandun na siya, biglang dumami. Eh hininto naman din daw niya yung laban. So, parati tayong nasa gobyerno tayo eh. Dapat due process talaga lahat. So again ano reminder wala mo nang mga ganyang klasing mga laro kasi talagang pag dinumog ka ng tao eh mahirap. Mm-hmm. All right. Ito naman sir uh, sabi ni sir uh, James Olorosissimo. Yan. Uh, may mga advantages and disadvantages po ba in joining professionals or is it more good in staying being amateur? Ayan, tingin ko atleta to sir yung nagtatanong. Want to know your perspective po on this. Thank you, Jackie. May tinex sa akin si Jackie. Um, meron pong ano eh, meron pong, meron pong SGL, no? Special Guest License. It is a license that is given to uh, profes- to, to, to student athletes who want to play in the professional leagues. And uh, for example, dito, yung uh, NCAA MVP, si Fran Yu, was given a special guest license by the GAB to play in the Mindanao leg of the professional Vismin Super Cup basketball. Siya po ay nag-aaral pa. Meron pa yata siyang isa o dalawang taong pa sa letran. So, so kung may mga nakikinig dito ng mga athletes na gustong maglaro sa Vismin Cup, or kung saan mang liga na professional, maari po kayong maglaro. Kung ayaw nyo pa mag-professional, pwede. Ang condition lang po namin sa NCAA ay kailangan humingi po ng permiso sa kanila at humingi ng permiso sa team nila. So in the case of Fran Yu, pinayagan po siya ng letran at pinayagan din po siya ng NCAA lumaro. So meron pa po yatang anim, pito na mga players ng Uh, NCA ang naglalaro sa ang maglalaro sa Bismin Cup. That's noted. I think may question pa from para Sir but, Kenner. Yeah, but the, the question is what is my perspective for an amateur to turn professional? Yes, sir. I think that I think that that's the way to go, 'di ba? Kasi pagtapos mo naghirap sa elementary, naka gold medal ka nga sa palarong pambansa, nag runner up ka sa sa secondary ng palarong pambansa tapos kinuha ka ng PUP okay na kinuha ka ng UP Mindanao tapos nag-shine ka dun sa collegiate league sa ka pupunta syempre pupunta ka ng pro di ba so marami na pong professional leagues ngayon uh, kailangan po ng uh, assistance dito lang po kami magtulong din po kami kung paano namin kayo mag-guide kung anong liga maari kayo 
marami kasing mga people in the Visayas na ayaw pumunta ng Manila kasi malayo sa pamilya. O ayan po, naglaro na. Di ba? Sa Cebu naglaro. Ngayon, ito po yung Mindanao Basketball League. Balita ko, sa butuan. No? Malapit na. And uh, pati volleyball, magkakaroon na rin dyan sa Visayas, Mindanao. So, nandyan din po yung National Basketball League, Women's Basketball League, babae. Di ba? Babae, nagbabasketball na ngayon. So, marami pong future sa mga uh, sports community natin sa professional. So, uh, sir, meron po ditong question from PR, uh, PRMSU, Robert Alvin Yap. Medyo nanonood to ng news, sir. <laughs> May we ask your opinion in regarding of the proposal of Senator Pacquiao for the creation of separate boxing commission for boxing, although the GAB is providing all the needs of the athletes and different sports in the country. What seems to be the point of creating a new boxing, a new commission only for boxing? Thank you very much. But that question should be addressed to Senator Pacquiao, not to me. <laughs> Pasensya na po, bibiro na ako. Uh, um, kami po sa GAB, inabutan na po namin. Ayaw po ng former GAB officials. So kami po ay nag, uh, nagtanong, nagtanong din doon sa legal division namin. And uh, nagkakausap din po kami ni Senator Pacquiao. And uh, in-explain namin sa kanya, boss, ginagawa naman namin na ito. Ano po bang gusto mo? Sabi niya, hindi kasi walang pension eh. Kasi walang... Uh, plano sa mga retire. Sabi ko, oh, say, kung may pondo naman dyan, pwede naman namin ibigay yan. Di ba? And then, uh, medyo, sorry to say, but uh, um, the GAB has a separate, as a, uh, as a, as, as, has a different opinion on it. Feeling namin, nagagawa na namin. Feeling namin, pandemic ngayon, eh, dapat yung pondo, ibigay na lang assistance sa mga atleta, hindi yung magki-create pa ng bagong mga opisina, di ba? Bagong mga opisyalis. E eh, ginagawa na namin. Nagagawa naman namin. Di ba? Ang hindi lang namin nagagawa yung wala kaming pondo. For example, yung, yung retirement nga. So, um, you cannot question his uh, intent, di ba? Napakabait na tao, napakagaling na boksingero, mahal na mahal ang atleta. Uh, kami lang, hindi naman lahat ng bagay inoohan mo. Eh. Kung talagang if you do not believe in it, And if your uh, if your uh, the officials ahead of you are opposed to it, siempre respeto tayo sa palagay nila at yun din po ang pinaninindiga namin tatlo ni Commissioner Trinidad at ni Commissioner Masangit. So sa ngayon po medyo we are of the adverse opinion. Instead of putting up a new commission, why don't they just um, energize the Games and Amusements Board? And every year we come to them, we ask them for funds for the things that they want to do. Eh, hindi naman po kami napapagbigyan. But anyway, so we wish him well. We August 21, there's a fight in Las Vegas. We pray for his victory and uh, sana okay din naman. Nagkakausap din naman kami. Pati yung mga safeguards sa mga buksingero, binili niya talaga yun. Sabi niya, kailangan in between fights, 30 days. Pag knockout, kailangan 90 days. So sinusunod lang naman natin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very good insight. Ito po, Chair Baham, uh, uh, one of the interesting questions din po. Sabi ni Sir Michael Escobedo from Aguinas School. Sabi niya, can GAV, can GAV overrule a pro league rule? Yan, yeah, medyo tang twist yun. Pwede niyo po ba i-overrule yung isang existing rule ng isang pro league po, Chairman? Uh, um, when, when a league comes to GAV for license, we are, they are asked to submit their rules. And uh, these rules are vetted. These rules are studied by the professional sports division and, of course, the legal division of the Games and Amusements Board. And we assume that they know what they are doing and that there are set of sets of rules that they that governs their league. And we respect that. And uh, once a rule is broken and uh, sanctions are Example, no? Example tayo. Yung Vismin League. Napansin nila na ang pangit na ng laro. Pinahinto nila. Hindi namin kinontra yun. Kasi tama yung ginawa nila. Hindi nila pinalaro na yung, yung Sikihor. Hindi namin kinontra yun. 
But if we find that what, in whatever they're doing, there is something wrong or that's not really acceptable, then that's the time we come in. All right. I hope that's clear po no sa ating mga participants, especially sa nagtanong po ng some good question. So, Kenner, I believe meron tayong last question from you. Yes, yes. Uh, last. Very, very last question, sir. Go ahead po. From Jason Armodia. Can you have webinars for technical officials in volleyball and badminton? for the updated rules and technicalities. I'm sorry, we don't have professional badminton. Um, I think that this uh, question is uh, should be answered by Sir Mark Velasco of the BSC. Hindi po kami, wala pong professional, professional badminton. Ano ba yung isa kanina, Ken? Volleyball po, volleyball. Uh, pwede Webinars. naman. Pwede naman. Uh, we will be ano, we will be tapping the profes, profes, uh, Premier Volleyball League uh, officials and yung ibang mga officials natin sa pro sports na maaari ding makatulong sa atin sa seminar. Pero ano po yan? Sa PSC po yan, PSC. PSC dahil sa kanila po rin yung officiating sa amateur sports. So sa amin po, meron din kaming mga ano, updates, trainings din ng mga ring officials natin. So ano thank rin, you. Uh, add ko lang po, Chairman, yung sa atin, na uh, minsan po sa kumustahan sa GAB every Wednesday, meron din pong pumapasok na nagte-training, uh, webinar, mm-hmm. ganun po. So dahil po weekly naman kaming merong schedule, so kung merong tutulong at magbibigay din ng ng knowledge ay eh, welcome naman po sa GAB kung mm-hmm. sabi lang po and we'll, we'll have this webinars po. Josh, Josh. Uh, yes, sir. I, that, I think that, well, alam naman natin that this is covered nationwide, no? And uh, baka lang naninibago kayo. Ang kilala ninyo na Mitra, yung Balbas Sarado, di ba? <laughs> Ramon Mitra. Ito, hindi lang walang Balbas, nakakalbo pa. So, baka nagmana sa nanay eh. But uh, we're very grateful for this chance for us to get together again. Tarlac, Badminton Academy, uh, Sorsogon, diba? Mindanao, Barm people are all here. So thank you very much. And uh, thank you, Sir June, Steve. Salamat. Guapo ka din. <laughs> so if there's uh, maybe one more, one more question, happy kami. Kung wala, edi, thank you very much. Games and Amusements Board will always be I know. Uh, thank you, Sir uh, Sir Jerome of uh, DepEd Bacolod City. There you have it. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating uh, guest speaker for our Session 20, Gab Chairman Baham Mitra, and syempre sa ating pong moderator, si Sir Kenner. So, uh, alam niyo po, we are bound by time restrictions, but we know na marami po kayong katanungan. Uh, we are still receiving questions, and dun dyan po open po ang ating Games and Amusements Board sa kanilang social media accounts and probably their website as well para po i-forward po natin yan. And uh, for us, lahat po ng inyong mga katanungan and reactions will be turned over sa aning pong uh, data gathering and data processing. Kaya po, uh, nothing po, wala pong uh, data and reactions and questions that will be wasted. And uh, we will now take this time to honor and award the certificate of appreciation to our 20th speaker for uh, Sports Conversations 2021 and to award the certificate uh, tinatawagan ko pong muli ang ating project director for the National Sports Summit 2021 Mr. Mark Edward Velasco sir Yes good afternoon Joas uh Sambasi Chair Baham Yes yes sorry <laughs> Marami maraming salamat uh, chairman uh, alam mo si chairman Baham parati kaming uh, magkasama yan at uh, Katex so, maraming salamat po for taking time uh, out of Thank your very you. busy schedule to share sa mga stakeholders namin yung side of the coin po ng sports ninyo. So, maraming salamat. And, uh, Thank you. Right. Thank you. In the, in, uh, because of that, I would like to award this certificate of appreciation to Gab uh, Chairman Baham Mitra for his invaluable contribution as a resource speaker for the professional sports in the Philippines topic session of sports conversation, the first phase of National Sports Summit, dated June 30, 2021 via Zoom. 
Signed, William I. Ramirez, Chairman, Philippine Sports Commission. Maraming salamat po, Chair Baham. Thank you, Sir Mark. Uh, tinatanggap po namin yan together with Commissioner Mar Masanggit, Commissioner Mar uh, Edward Trinidad from the Games and Amusement Board. Salamat. Uh, warm regards din kay Ma'am Ana Abiliana na sa butuan yata sa sila Joboy. Mm -hmm. Maraming maraming salamat po, uh, Chair Bahamitra.